Good morning, folks. It's a gorgeous morning in South Florida. And today I'm gonna answer one of your questions. Someone asked me if I process and eat my own chickens that I have in the backyard. And today I'm gonna show you that I do and I'll show you how I do it. So let's get started. Please note that viewer discretion is advised in this video. I'll be processing my meat bird and I'll show you a step-by-step -step tutorial. So over here, I have a free range broiler that left over from last season that I'm gonna use. I'm gonna process it and I'll show you how I do it. Right now, he's huge. He's over four and a half months and uh, I'm gonna process him because I don't want him to get any older than this. Then the meats get hard and unable to use it. So at this stage, it's gonna eat just like a Creole fall since it's been free ranging and eating organic food. So it's, I believe it's gonna be delicious. In case you're asking what a meat bird is, it's a special breed of chicken that's called a Cornish cross and it's raised for the meat because it's fast growing. So now I have a clean bucket, sharp knife. I'm gonna say a prayer for the Lord provide in this meat for us and I'm gonna dispatch it and put it in the bucket. After a few minutes of allowing this bird to have its blood drained, I'm gonna give it a good wash and get all the excess blood off of it and then I'm gonna prepare it for the scalding process. This is where I pour hot water, about 180 degree water over the bird so that we can soak the feather and that way it's easily removed. Give it about two minutes of soaking and we're gonna test the feather to make sure that it's ready to be plucked and looks like it's ready and we're ready to move on to the next stage gonna clean our surface wash down everything thoroughly salmonella is a big issue in this area here so we want to get everything cleaned on a clean surface and we're just gonna go ahead and start removing these feathers. Now on these meat birds, the feathers are easily removed. Unlike ducks, which are very hard. So within a few minutes, we can get this ready. So while you're processing this meat bird, you always wanna ensure that you have a clean source of water close by so you can continuously wash your surface, wash your bird and keep everything clean. This is exactly what I'm doing right here. I'm making sure all the little fine feathers are out. And give the bird a good washing again, one more time. This is to ensure that you get most of the bacteria off and clean out all the excess blood and dirt or whatever you that's left on the bird. It's gonna be washed off at this point. All right, this is a very large bird. This bird was left to grow for an excess of four and a half months. It looks almost like the size of a small turkey. It's exceptionally large. It's gonna have a lot of meat and i um, expecting it to have a lot of fat as well. So here I'm preparing our outdoor grill. I'm gonna wash everything down and I'm gonna get our fire started. Now I'm using small twigs because I wanna get a fast burning flame, not a cooking flame, which if I was cooking, I would use large pieces of wood. So I wanna use fast burning twigs with the minimum heat, but flame because the next process is to roast this bird. So traditionally, I think the bird is roast because of two things, because it gives it a good look and taste of the outdoor smoky flavor. And also it helps to remove any excess bacteria that's on the surface of the bird. And it's just the traditional way of doing things. So I'm going the traditional way and I'm gonna roast this bird thoroughly 
get it evenly roasted on the outside of the bird. Gets off all the fine feather as well. So over here I'm continuing the roasting process and keep turning our bird to ensure that all surfaces get a nice roast. And I'm not trying to cook this bird so I'm going to keep it moving until it gets that nice brown char on the outside. Now the meat is not going to be cooked because I'm using just fast burning twigs just to get a flame and it just takes a few minutes and it's done. Over here I'm taking extra precaution and I'm going to wash the surface of this table with Clorox bleach just to ensure that all the bacteria are removed. I'm a little bit scared of salmonella bacteria as well so I'm going to ensure that all our surface are completely clean before we go on to the next process. Over here I'm getting prepared to remove the feet. I'm just gonna go right in between the joints, like so. It's easy to remove. Once you get right in between the joints, remove the feet. Now, what I wanna show you here is we're gonna open up a, this cavity. We're gonna perform a C-section. Trying not to cut the intestines. So we wanna remove everything in a whole piece, clean. Over here, I'm gonna remove the food bag, the crop, and remove, the, and then start removing the inner. And this bird was about to lay. It had a lot of eggs. And in about a few days, I would have had this bird would have had a large egg. So now we're gonna remove all the guts and any excess fat, all the intestines. And I'm still finding more eggs. So what we need to do is there's a green gland in between the liver. We want to avoid cutting that because traditionally that's supposed to be left alone because if you rupture that, it gets on the meat and it gives it a nice, a bitter taste. This is the heart that I'm cutting open. So now all the giblets and the can be used in another recipe. This is the egg bag. That could also be used. All the small immature eggs can also be cooked as well. And this is the gizzard. Just gonna cut it open and remove all this undigested food. It's a little bit messy, but if you know what you're doing and follow along with me. Now you just wanna get it in a corner here and remove that in a membrane. Once you get it started, it just peels right off. If your chicken is fresh, it comes off very easy. It's a thin, leathery membrane. And once you get it started on the edge, just peel it right off. And next you're gonna do is keep your surfaces, all your meat, Give it a good rinse in one more time. Wash down your table. Make sure you keep everything clean. Get all your excess blood out of the cavity. Give it a good hose down. And the next thing you wanna do is go between the joints and remove the legs legs and ties together and you just snap it back and remove that same thing with the wings just fold it back and go right between the joints remove the wings 
Next, you're gonna remove all the excess fat. So since this bird was speared for a long time, it's gonna have a lot of fat. So I'm gonna do a lot of trimming. As you can see here on the thigh and leg, I'm gonna remove the fat and just cut the meat up. All the excess skin with a lot of fat, I'm gonna remove as well. Now inside here in this back cavity is where the lungs are and we're gonna remove that as well. So here I'm gonna remove the neck and take the skin off because usually the skin around the neck has a lot of fat. So we wanna minimize waste. So that could be used in our recipe as well. At this point here, I'm gonna remove the tail end. Some people may wanna use that. I don't, so I'm gonna remove it, discard it. It's fatty, so I'm not gonna use that. Next, we're gonna cut up our rib cages on the back pieces and now I'm gonna cut up the wing. Now the wing doesn't have much fat so what I'm gonna do is just sever it and cut it up in small pieces. Now over here this is a tie that I would have to remove excess fat and I'm gonna go ahead and remove some of the skin as well. We want to clean this bird up as much as we can. So I'm going to process this and I'll use it in one of my recipe soon. So keep watching, please subscribe and follow along and you'll see how I cook this bird. Now one thing that I forgot to tell you that even though this bird is a little bit older than usual, for a meat bird it was pretty soft to cut. So I'm expecting that this bird is going to cook well and taste wonderful. So follow along and I'm going to show you how I use it in my recipes. Now check the size of this breast. Looks like a little turkey breast. It's loads of meat and it's going to be great. Now this is how some people would like to use the feet. If you do decide to use the feet, you can roast the feet, then peel the skin off or boil it in some more water hot water and then peel the skin it comes right off so this is our breast i'm gonna use this breast in another recipe separate from cooking the chicken meat and if you guys follow along with me i'm gonna show you how i use the breast meat this breast meat alone is about maybe three pounds it's solid meat not much fat on it so I'm just gonna put it in a ziplock bag and store it so now I'm gonna give everything a good hose washing clean our surfaces one more time and prepare our meat in the bags, the Ziploc bags, freezer bags, and set it aside so we can use it for future use. I wanna thank you guys for watching this video. Please do remember to subscribe and give me a thumbs up and follow along for my next recipes. If you do subscribe, please click that bell icon and you'll be notified of my next video.